Hey, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Stephanie Stevens Show. It's 10 o'clock, and as promised, I am on tonight with the game show. How smart are you? Now, you know, last week when we did the show, um, How Smart Are You, you guys did pretty good, but some of the celebrities you didn't know. So we, um, we all got an education from learning who they were and what they did. And a lot of them had passed away, but you guys were very good at it. So this week, you guys asked me to do the game show again, so I'm now doing the shows at 10 o'clock on Friday nights. How smart are you? How smart are you? Do you know the celebrities um, that I am going to show you tonight? I'm gonna give you a little bit of a history lesson on the celebrities tonight on how smart are you? If you can tell me who they are and a little bit of history of who they are. Now, some of them have gone through some rough times. See if you recognize some of the celebrities that I am going to show you tonight on how smart are you right here on the Stephanie Stevens Show. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys have a great and blessed weekend. Welcome to the show. I'm going to get started right off and say it like this here. How smart are you? I think I should have written it the other way. I think it was supposed to actually be written the other way. <laughs> My agent keeps telling me to do that. Write it the other way. Now, we're going to start off with our first celebrity. Now, this lady has passed away. She was one of my favorite singers of all times. And um, I miss her. And I have a lot of her music. And um, I just want to see if you guys recognize her. Now, remember, some of the pictures tonight are graphic. Some of the pictures are graphic about what some of the celebrities have gone through. So we're going to do about 35 minutes of this show. It's called How Smart Are You? So we're going to get started right now. We're going to start off with our first celebrity. Now, our first celebrity was a young woman that was, um, she had an R&B voice. And I have a lot of her music, and she's she was amazing. She was from London. Let's see if you guys can guess who our first celebrity is. Do you know who this lady is? Does anybody know who this lady is? This celebrity went through a lot of trials and tribulations at the end of her career. Um, and then she got back on track, and then she fell again. Does anybody know who this celebrity is? How smart are you? Can anybody tell me who this celebrity is? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. You got it, Mario. This is Amy Winehouse. Amazing. Hi, John. Amy Winehouse. This is what she looked like at the end of her career. And this is what we remember her as. You remember how fabulous she was here? Amy Winehouse was fabulous. We miss her. Yes, yes, yes. You guys figured it out. You knew who she was. Our next celebrity. We're going to keep it right on moving. Our next celebrity. Now, some of you might have recognized him from a certain TV show. I'm not going to give away too much. Hi, Alexis. Hi, Keona. How are you guys? Now, Let's see if you can figure out who this celebrity is. Now, this celebrity was a child star. Do you guys know who this celebrity is? Hi, Alexis. You got to get rehab. <laughs> Does anybody know who this particular celebrity is? He was a child star. Does any five, 
four, three, two. Urkel, you are right, John. You are right. It is Urkel. Urkel, that's right. This is him now as an adult man. I'm sure some of you queens out there would probably drag him home. <laughs> this is Urkel. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. He's turned into a real man, that Urkel. Our next celebrity. Now, our next celebrity, you might not know who she is, but she had a famous husband. He's passed away a long time ago. And this family is from Ten Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to know who she is, but let's just try and see. Do you guys know who this celebrity is? Well, she's actually the celebrity, uh, the wife of a famous celebrity that has passed on. Steve. Oh, Steve Urkel. You're right, Princess. Steve Urkel. Do you know who this particular lady is? Does anybody know who this celebrity is? Hi, Alexa. Five, four, three, two, one. This is... There you go, John. Priscilla Presley. This is Priscilla Presley. Oh my God. Beautiful woman. Beautiful, 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 beautiful woman. She was married to Elvis. Mm -hmm. Hi, Alexis. Hi, Rhoda. Now, we are back with the um, 10 o'clock show. How smart are you? Now, our next celebrity was a little concerning. He was um, a household dad. He was the first black doctor on TV. And from what I hear, do you guys know who this particular person is? Apparently, he committed some crimes in the 1970s. I don't, I'm just trying to figure out. He was the Jello Pudding Man. Does anybody recognize this man? Do you recognize this man? Hi, Rhoda. Does anybody recognize this man? How smart are you? Mm -hmm. I hear that he is, um, his roommate is Robert Blake, the Menendez brothers. And one time he was roommate with OJ. Does anybody know who this man is? How smart are you? Hi, Rhoda. Five, four, Papa Bill. <laughs> yes, this is Bill Cosby. Apparently, Bill Cosby has been molesting white women for decades. Who would have ever guessed the Jello pudding man had been doing things like that? Mm, I don't know. You just never know, people. How are you, Rhoda? <laughs> yes, this is Bill Cosby. Now. Our next, <laughs> Bill likes to feel on a lot of things, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, he likes to put you on that casting couch. Oh, Lord. Anyway, our next celebrity, I don't know if you guys will recognize who he is, but he was in a truck driving down a highway really fast. I don't know what he was doing or what he was up to, but I heard he was trying to get away. Does anybody know who this particular getaway celebrity is? I hear he drives real fast. He can jump over suitcases. I hear he jumped over suitcases for the Hertz commercial. He was from the Hertz commercial. Does anybody know who this is? Oh, everybody knows who O.J. is. This is O.J. Simpson. Yes, thank God you girls didn't date him because you just might not make it. <laughs> thank God. This is O.J. Simpson. They're still looking for him. They haven't been able to locate him. He's in Miami somewhere. Be careful, ladies. O.J. is loose in Miami. Mm. 
this is a uh, what do you what do you call him? Um <laughs> Gretho, Gretho James. <laughs> That's very funny. Now, our next celebrity has been gone for a certain amount of time. We haven't seen her for in years. I don't know what she's doing now. I heard she's actually working at the 7-Eleven in Los Angeles, but I'm not sure because she was fabulous at one time. And she was in a movie called Splash. I want to know if you guys remember her. <laughs> <laughs> this next woman was in a movie called Splash. Does anybody recognize this woman? She was in a movie called Splash. Do you guys recognize this woman? She was in a 1979 or 80 movie called Splash. Daryl Hannah. Yes, this is the fabulous Daryl Hannah. This is what she looks like now. She actually looks quite beautiful. She looks quite beautiful. I don't know why she's not working. Mm -hmm. Hi, Chris. Our next lady is a black celebrity. Now, she has been known to beat up other ladies on a regular basis. She has been known to hang out with the wrong crowd, but yet she got famous and rich. She is known as, I will say, do you guys recognize this woman? Do you recognize this woman? Does anybody recognize this woman? She is a, a he said Phyllis Diller. <laughs> <laughs> you're terrible, Alexis. You're terrible. Does anybody recognize this black woman? This is a black woman. She is a rapper. A rapper. I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint. She's a rapper. She's been known to get in fights with the mother rapper, ladies. That's right, Little Kim. This is Little Kim. She's looking more and more like a white woman every day. Mm -hmm. This is Little Kim. She has been known to try to beat up Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, um, Spinderella one time. She has been known. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Rocky. How you guys doing? This is Little Kim. That's right. Our next celebrity, you guys might not recognize him, but he is famous all over the world. He used to be gorgeous. Um, I'm not going to say that he's not gorgeous now. He just looks like he's either changing or has changed. Tell me, do you know who this celebrity is? He was gorgeous when he was young. Gorgeous. How smart are you? Do you know who this celebrity is? Hi, Dennis. How are you? Too much brightening cream. <laughs> this is, does anybody know who this particular celebrity is? Do you know? Five, four, three, two. That's right. This is Mickey Rourke. Hi, Pamela. How are you? This is Mickey Rourke. But this is what Mickey Rourke looks like now. This is what he looks like now. Shocking. Shocking. Everything good, Dennis? <laughs> Don't say he looks horrible. He just looks different. And, and, and well, I don't know. You guys... I don't know. That's Mickey Rourke. That's Mickey Rourke. Now, our next celebrity was in Batman. I'm going to make you come to Canada. Just kidding. But <laughs> Thank you, hon. Thank you. But I'm a married woman. Rocky, I'm married to my career. This next celebrity was in one of the most famous blockbusters of all times. Now, I don't know if you guys will recognize him, but he was really gorgeous. He was gorgeous in the blockbuster that I saw him in, too. But do you guys recognize who this celebrity is? 
Yeah, Mickey Rourke had a lot of work done. This is not Mickey Rourke, though. Do you know who this is? Do you guys know who this famous celebrity is? Five, four, three, two. Hi, Walton. This is Val Kilmer from Batman. There you go, John. This is Val Kilmer from Batman. And this is how he looks today. That's probably why he's not working. <laughs> this is how he looks today. This is Val Kilmer from Top Gun and Batman. I can't believe how different he looks. Oh my God, Val Kilmer coming in next. This next lady was in Chicago, the movie. She's a great actress and she was just in the movie. She, she won an Oscar for her portrayal of this certain woman. She was in a movie called Judy. I don't know if you guys will remember who she is, but this is, do you guys, do you guys know who this woman is? No, this is not Madonna, once upon a time. Val Kilmer, yeah? Well, Val Kilmer played Batman, didn't he? In, 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 um, he played Batman in the series, not the Joker. Or did he? I don't know. Yeah, that's right, John. This is Renee Zellweger. This is how she looks <clears throat> today. <clears throat> she looks so different. <clears throat> so different. <clears throat> we love ourselves some Renee Zellweger. <clears throat> I love watching her in Chicago. She was fabulous. She was fabulous in Chicago. <clears throat> If I liked women, Renee, you'd be in trouble. But I don't. Now, our next celebrity, or semi-celebrity, or was a celebrity, or tried to be a celebrity, but had a lot of issues. This person was on one of the new reality shows for the LGBT two-spirit pronoun community. Now, in the last two weeks, this person has gone through a lot. Tell me if you can recognize who this particular person is and what reality show he was on. <laughs> Alexa, you say he looked like the Joker? <laughs> Does anybody recognize this beat up celebrity? Well, part-time celebrity, tried to be a celebrity, had a lot of difficulties. Does anybody know who this, thank you, Christopher, does anybody know who this celebrity is or tried to be a celebrity? He was on a reality show that we all watch. Well, I don't watch it because I'm too busy, but some of you girls watch it. Nobody recognizes this person. Let me see if you recognize him now. If you can tell me who this person is and what show. There you go. Tyra Sanchez from RuPaul's Drag Race. Look how gorgeous she was. Apparently, apparently, she got in a scuffle. A scuffle. And this is what happened to her. She got into a scuffle, from what I heard, with another queen. But look how gorgeous she was. Now, our next celebrity is not that fortunate as Tyra to be gorgeous. She just happens to be rich. And sometimes that's enough. How smart are you? That's right, Tyra Sanchez was on RuPaul's Drag Race. She had a promising career and she's now not doing drag anymore, she says. 
How do you give up such a great opportunity to, to make yourself so much money and have a fabulous life of dressing up in drag? Because drag is fabulous. How can you give that up, girl? But anyway, you guys are here on the Stephanie Stevens Show. This next lady wasn't so lucky to be born gorgeous, but she was smart and she's rich. And she has created a lot of the dance songs back in the day that we used to do. See if you guys recognize her. Does anybody know who this particular LGBT two-spirit pronoun community celebrity is? Hi, Roman. Hi, Crystal. Do you guys recognize her? No, this is not Bianca Del Rio. No. Hi, Roman. Hi, Crystal. This is not Bianca Del Rio. Does anybody know who this particular celebrity is in the LGBT two-spirit pronoun community? She is a new movie coming out at the end of July. There you go, John Jackie B. This is Jackie B. If you guys don't know who Jackie B is, a lot of the music that Lady Bunny does is from Jackie B. So, she is part of the LGBT two-spirit pronoun community. That's Jackie B. Oh yeah, she's something else. I like her. Now, this next lady I premiered last week, and a lot of you did not get who this woman was. One lucky person figured out who she was. Now, oh Lucy. <laughs> now, this next lady had a famous commercial. Now, I'm going to see if you guys, I brought her back because I thought that she used to make us all laugh for years. Does anybody recognize this lady? No, this is not George Washington or Barbara Bush. Does anybody recognize this celebrity? Hi, James. Hi, Anaya. Does anybody recognize this celebrity? Hi, Anaya. Hi, James. That's right. This is Claire. I, I, I keep forgetting her last name. This is Claire, and she is the Where's the Beef lady. Where's the beef? Mm -hmm. And you know, we've all said that to men. Some of us around three, four, five o'clock in the morning when they said that they could come over and handle things, and we'd be like, Where's the beef, baby? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, get you some. This is Where's the Beef Lady, and her name is Claire. She passed away a long time ago. If she was alive today, she'd be 115 years old. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now, coming in, for those of you who are just now joining us, Alexis, hi. Um, for those of you just now joining us, thank you for joining me here on the Stephanie Stevens Show. And today's show, this is my game show, and it's called How Smart Are You? Now, our next celebrity was a childhood superstar. She was in a movie called, I think it was called Fire or Flames. Hmm, I don't know. I'll let you figure it out. But she was in the movie with Bernie Mac, she was in a movie called Charlie's Angel. Let's see if you remember who this childhood superstar is. Does anybody know who this superstar is? She was fabulous in Charlie's Angels. Fabulous. Then she was a child superstar when she was in the movie, I think, called Fire or Flames or something like that. Does anybody know who this lady is? This lady is fabulous. I like her. She's fabulous. She just does her thing. She was married to Tom Green for 10 minutes. <laughs> That's right. This is Drew Barrymore, John. You got that. Oh my God, you're smart. How smart are you, John? Mm, E.T. Yes, this is Miss Drew Barrymore from E.T. And um, Charlie's Angels. Firestarter, that's right. That was the movie she was in when she was a little girl. Oh my God. Drew, we made it, girl. We made it. That's Drew Barrymore. 
If you guys are just now joining us here on the Stephanie Stevens Show, we are doing my game show called How Smart Are You? Our next celebrity is beautiful, she's young, and she's smart. This girl is smart, but she's had a run of bad luck with boyfriends. But she's smart, and she's young, and she's pretty. Does anybody recognize who this celebrity is? She's very cute, very small. No. Oh. <laughs> you too, Chris. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you, girl. <laughs> Does anybody recognize this celebrity? She's very cute. No, this is not Madonna. She's today's time. She's young. There you go, John. Oh my God, how smart are you? This is Ariane Grande. Yes, the little one with the big voice. Yes, girl, give it to him. Now, this next lady, some of you might not recognize her because she was before most of our times, but she was a spiritual leader. Should I say that? Her and her husband were in the church. They were spiritual people. Does anybody recognize this spiritual celebrity? Does anybody know who this woman is? Does anybody know who this woman is? Now, she was in the church for years telling you about the Bible and God, her and her husband. They had a big fellowship. Her husband went to prison for stealing money and scandal. That's right, Alexis. Tammy Faye Baker. Now, we love Tammy, but Tammy can paint. I love Tammy because she can paint. This is Tammy Faye Baker. Miss Spiritual herself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Work the mascara. <laughs> oh my lord. Now, I know nobody will know who this next celebrity is. And if you do, I'll be shocked. This celebrity helped discover one of the most famous women today, Tina Turner. And I don't know if you, he is now, I think, in jail for murdering his girlfriend. So let's see who he is. Does anybody recognize this celebrity? Hi, Tyler, how are you? Does anybody recognize this, praise the Lord? <laughs> Does anybody recognize this celebrity? No, this is not Rick James. <laughs> this is not <clears throat> the the exercise man. Um, what's his name? The one that exercises. Um, um, oh my God! I can't. I, I will remember it in a minute. You, um, Alexis, you got it. Phil Spectra. This is the man that helped get Tina Turner's career back on track, and he is in jail now for murdering his girlfriend. Well, I think he was. In, he's in jail. Or he, Hmm, maybe he's in Miami with OJ. Hmm. Either way, this is Phil Spectra. He's the man that helped get Tina Turner's career back on board with um, River Deep, Mountain High, and quite a few other hits. Ooh, look at Alexis. Look at Phil Spectra. Richard Simmons. Yeah, that's who I was trying to think. This is not Richard Simmons. This is Phil Spectra. Now, um, Alexis, can you imagine Phil Spectra standing in front of you Looking like this, with no clothes on. Ooh! <laughs> That's Phil Spectra, y'all. Scary. Very scary. Now, our next celebrity has been known to enjoy a T.S. or a trans woman every now and then. Now, he was caught in Los Angeles. 
apparently on Los Angeles um, Boulevard with a TS escort. In the States, they say prostitute. In Canada, we say escorts. But either way, this celebrity, can anybody tell me who this celebrity is? How smart are you? This celebrity was caught numerous times with T.S. escorts. He went to jail for that hairdo, Phil Spectre. <laughs> Can anybody tell me who this is? This particular man here, Run Sister. <laughs> I know he'll chase me down. This particular man here likes T.S.'s. He says he doesn't, and he says that he's not gay or homosexual in any way, but he has been known and caught by the police several times with T.S. women. Hi, Perry. Hi, Perry. This is Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. He has been known to um, drive around West Hollywood with a T.S. Escort in his car. Mm, from what I heard, that's what I heard. Mm, that Eddie Murphy is concerning. I mean, but you think about it. Eddie Murphy's got ten children, ladies. Mm, and Eddie Murphy mm, might have a little something, something. I mean, he's got a couple of dollars. I don't know if I could sleep with Eddie Murphy. He'd be laughing all the time and cracking jokes. How do you have sex with somebody that's laughing all the time and cracking jokes? But I'd be counting those dollars. Mm, I'd be laughing at the end of it all. Mm. Or I'd be up there in jail with the rest of them. But anyway, that's Eddie Murphy. All right. <laughs> He's been known. Now these next two, I will say, were a couple. He is was a famous English actor and she was just looking for an opportunity. She was in the same situation uh, as a lot of concerning superstars. But here she is and here he is. Now does anybody know who this particular celebrity is does anybody know who this celebrity is how smart are you now he was caught with a black escort he had a taste for chocolate mm. this celebrity has a taste for chocolate mm. I heard he's got a big one too there Alexis oh I heard he had a big one girl mm -hmm. Does anybody know who this jailbird celebrity is? Well, was. Not in jail anymore. But they put him in jail for um, soliciting one of these women. Does anybody know who this is? That's right, John. This is Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. Does anybody know the woman that, the name of the woman that Hugh Grant was picked up with? The escort that Hugh Grant was picked up with. Does anybody know who she is? Do you know her name, John? Do you know who? Her, what's her name? This is a picture of her next to him. Does anybody recognize this woman? This is Divine Brown. This is the woman that was with Hugh Grant. <laughs> this is not Elizabeth Hurley. No, this is not Elizabeth Hurley. <laughs> this is Divine Brown. This is the black escort that Hugh Grant was picked up with. <laughs> now, this next celebrity, how smart are you? Now this next celebrity decided that he wants 
to be the next president of the United States. Do you guys know who this celebrity is? He is a rapper. He's married to a woman with a lot of fake body parts. He's married to a certain celebrity with a lot of fake body parts that doesn't have a real job but taking selfies and posing all day long. That's her job. Taking selfies and posing all day long. And this celebrity is married to her. That's right. This is Kenyan West John. Kenyan West wants to be the next president of the United States of America. And I got to give you guys a little gossip. I saw him today with Carly. What is her name? Karen, Carly, Caitlyn. Caitlyn Jenner says she wants to be his vice president. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything because you guys know what I'm thinking. Kenyan West, can you imagine Kenyan West and Caitlyn Jenner? as the vice president and Kenyon West as the president. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh, hmm. 2021, it's going to be interesting. Oh my God. Our next celebrity and our final celebrity. Thank you guys for joining me here on the Stephanie Stevens Show. How smart are you? This next gentleman was a gay icon, but he's straight. But guess what? He was in the porn business. And gay men had his videos, every video he ever did. He was beautiful. He was young. He was gorgeous. But does anybody recognize this porn star? Does anybody know who this porn star is? Would I vote for King Ann? No. And and Caitlin, she can just forget it. Oh. <laughs> and King Ann, oh no. Does anybody know who this celebrity is? This porn star. He was a porn star in the 1980s and gay men had all of his videos. And this is what he looks like today. That's right, John. Jeff Stryker. Now you know, if you were a young gay man back in the days, you had Ramrod or one of those um, one of those videos from Catalina that Jeff Stryker was in. Now Jeff Stryker, oh my God, girl, he was hot. I never, you know me, I was more into the chocolate men. So I probably, you know, or men that had things that most chocolate men have. I mean, Jeff Stryker was packing a little bit. But I needed somebody that was more like, um, hmm, anyways. <laughs> Not that I'm a size queen, because Jeff was beautiful, and he knew how to work that piece that he had. Mm. This is Jeff Stryker, you guys. Porn star of the 1980s, gay men's fantasy all over the place. They put him in the perfect lighting. And remember when he came to the Copa and they brought him out on that motorcycle? I'll never forget that. Mm. That was the best $18 I ever spent to see Jeff Stryker. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much for joining me here on the Stephanie Stevens Show tonight. How smart are you? We will see you next time. Over and out, everybody. Have a great week. Oh, that's coming up next week, John. Okay? How smart are you? Thank you, everybody, for joining me here on The Stephanie Stevens Show. Have a great weekend, everybody. Until next time, my friends, stay safe, wear a mask. Peace out, everybody. Just enjoy your lives. Good night. Thank you for supporting The Stephanie Stevens Show. I really appreciate it.